Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today this is going to be another Why Ship video. This time, I'm going to be explaining a Why Ship Hiccup and Elsa. So, without further ado, let us get started. So, the first time I saw this ship was when I was slightly a bit more younger. But at first, I saw like a little fan made video. Where there, was, there was like a love triangle between Astrid, Elsa, and Hiccup. And, and Elsa ends up killing Hiccup at first. But he comes back up to life somehow. And not just that, can I also point out the fact that this ship, Hiccup and Elsa, is basically kind of like all over the internet. Literally, I'm looking it up right now, I'm getting to it right freaking now. And there we freaking go. I can't show you it, but I am looking at it right now. And dare I, s well, not dare I say this, but freaking this hiccup and Elsa is basically all over the internet. Seriously, like, there's like freaking fan made videos of these two there's like fan stories about them there's even fan edits there's there's everything people are like making what if videos on what if Elsa was in the how to train your dragon universe like it's just crazy to think that so many people ship these two. And I am one of them. And I made a story that featured Elsa, Hiccup, and freaking God freaking Zilla. God freaking Zilla. And I'm not the only one. Gainer's at 3 got inspired by Ash. Both me, Gainer's at 3, and Zilla 2000, got inspired by Astrid Zilla 1954, who did his own version of this story of Hiccup x Elsa. And, well, Hick Elsa and Godzilla story. And, like what I said before, this ship. Hiccup x Elsa is all over the freaking internet. I'm looking at it right now, and like it's all over the internet. There's like tons of the videos about it. Heck, you can even look it up on Google, and boom, all the fan arts, all of the fan art will be right there. It's it it's like almost if fans want these two to basically become a thing, even though. They are characters from different companies, and they are possibly in completely different universes. <laughs> but still, there is so freaking much videos about these two. And it's like all over the freaking internet. It's all over, not just on YouTube, but on freaking fair. It's like people are just like asking for this to happen. Like I said, people are just like 
It's almost as if people are asking for this to happen. They're just like asking for this shit to freaking happen, and I don't know why. And I'm one of those people, but yet I don't ship them like that. I only ship them like a little bit. But still. It's like, it's like people are making what if videos on what if Elsa was in the How to Train Dragon universe and she became Hiccup's girlfriend instead of Astrid. Let's be honest, let's all agree here that Elsa, that Astrid is basically a a-hole. She's like the biggest a-hole in the How to Train Dragon universe. And she's not just an a-hole to Hiccup, but sometimes she just takes command instantly, and it doesn't even explain on how... On, it's just frustrating and confusing at the same time. And we have Astrid, who is this warrior, who basically beats an a-hole to Hiccup, and basically beats him up all the time. And judge his leadership. Okay, so... We got, we got Astrid, okay? So we got that. And here we have Elsa, who's basically a determined, be it scared, cautious, and a bit more a honest leader in the frozen universe. Now, Hiccup is sort of a bit more like her within a way. And I think that's just like one. Just one of the reasons why people are shipping these two. The fact that they have a little bit in common. And there's the the fact that basically people are just saying that this ship is just incredible, it's beautiful. Well, and this, this is more what you want to say, if Elsa was in the How to Train Dragon universe, and you saw her and Hiccup interacting, very differently on how normally on how normally how Hiccup and Astral re interact. So we saw how Hiccup and Astral interact. We saw that, okay? So there's that. And then we have this. Hiccup X Elsa now imagine on how, what if Elsa was in the Hunter Train Dragon universe? You could possibly imagine on how these two can interact with each other. And if you ask anyone, one, they could just say, flat out say, this is much more as a one of the most famous love stories in history. Yes, I said it out loud. I'll even say it again. This is what this is like one of the most famous love stories in history. So Yeah, there we have that. And if they interact with each other differently than how Hiccup and Astro normally interact, then I'm pretty sure the ship will go crazy. I'm pretty sure everyone it needs higher planet will just flat out ship these two.
and they'll just basically, and all the Hiccup and Elsa ships will fight anyone who says otherwise. So, we got that as well. And not just that, how what I, how the way I'm seeing fan art and fan videos, they are basically making like the most famous love story in history. Like, I'm not lying. You can go and watch videos yourselves and just watch any Hiccup and Elsa video and you can see my point on why I say this is much more to say famous, one of the most famous love stories in history. Like, just looking at the fan art alone proves my point. Looking at videos alone, like fan videos, like fan, like, Hiccup and Elsa's universe were both tied in together. There's that, so... And the f fact that basically almost everyone on YouTube and on Google ships these two is a completely different story. This is much more than a better love story than Hiccup and Astrid. Or to be honest. Because at least Elsa doesn't have a violent side against her. She only has a violent side when she needs to get violent. <clears throat> Basically like Hiccup in that way. Hiccup gets violent when he needs to get violent. So there's that. And honestly, I prefer if Elsa was in the How to Train Dragon universe instead of. Wait. I prefer Elsa if she was in the How to Train Dragon universe. I prefer her to be Hiccup's love interest. Rather than Astrid, because Astrid's, Astrid's just a different story, because she's just basically kind of not Hiccup's type of in a way. Because both Hiccup and Elsa play a role as determined, understanding, and understandable, and likable leaders of their own people. And that said, Elsa carries one huge advantage if her and Astrid are going to get into a fight. The fact that she makes ice, and she can just basically freeze Astrid in like no problem. It's because it's basically like a a battle that Astra cannot win. So yeah. <clears throat> so I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to have Gorgia with excellence, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.